Hello again, this is Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. And here we are in PowerDirector in timeline mode. This is the full feature editor and we're going to do some basic editing. In order to do the editing, of course, we have to import our media, that is our video, our photos, our music, our audio into the, our project. But in order to do that, a very important key, all of that media must be on your computer's hard drive. If your media is still on your camcorder, if it's still on your phone, and you import the media from your phone without moving it onto your hard drive, as soon as you disconnect your phone or your camcorder or whatever, your external drive, as soon as you disconnect that, you're going to lose the connection to your project. So all of that media, all of that video, all the still photos and music must actually be on your computer's hard drive. Now the program does have a number of tools for getting the media from your device onto your hard drive. And let's take a look at those. If I go over to the Capture Workspace by clicking on this tab in the upper left-hand corner of the program, you may be able to see up at the top of the program a number of options here that are grayed out. They're grayed out because I don't have devices plugged in there. But if I had devices plugged in, you'd see that I have, well, for instance, a microphone. So I can record audio because my microphone's plugged in there. You see I have options for ripping video off a DVD or a CD. Obviously, you can't rip video off a commercial DVD because it has copy protection on it. But if you have a homemade DVD, you can rip media from that. Uh, if you have a mini DV camcorder or an HDV camcorder, these are tape-based camcorders that are connected by FireWire. You can uh, get the media or stream the media off of those. If you have your FireWire plugged in, these options would be highlighted. And there's also a very cool screen recorder, which is well worth checking out. Turn that on and it works like Camtasia. In other words, it will actually record your screen off your computer and you can edit the video from that recording and make your own tutorials or game demos or whatever. It's a very cool tool that's built right into the program. That said, most video today is going to be coming from your phone or say an AVCHD camcorder or a GoPro and unfortunately here the program falls a bit short. It does not have a really good tool for getting media from an external device. I have my AVCHD Canon camcorder connected by USB to the computer and I've configured the camcorder. It's in VTR mode and I've configured it so that it is communicating with the computer. Now, if I go up here to this button that's highlighted blue right now, capture from an external device, and then I go down here in the lower right and I select drive. Now, I'm going to just take the edge of the program up a little so you can see the complete list. But if I click on drive, this is where I'll find the options to connect to an external device. So if I have, say, a disk on my computer, or I have a thumb drive, or I have an external drive where my media is, I can select that option here and pull the video off of that device and it will be come into my project and simultaneously be recorded to my hard drive. My Canon camcorder is not on here at all. And in fact, it's only through experimentation that I've figured out my Canon camcorder is actually removable disk G. So if I click on that, it's just gonna take a second for it to generate my thumbnails or generate my video. The program is now connected to my device. I have to come over here to capture preferences. The program won't take the video files off my camcorder and move them to the computer. Instead, I have to actually stream them in by selecting the capture preferences down here underneath that preview window. Open them up. I can either select these individual clips here or I can play through. and then press this red record button and record the streaming video onto my computer's hard drive. That to me is very clumsy and old fashioned. I'll show you my actual preferred way of working with video off an external device. Let's go back over here to edit. I'm going to open up my Windows File Explorer. There it is, and here is the video that's on my camcorder. I don't have to stream through here. I can actually select the video clips say this first set of video clips, I can just select them, right click, copy, put them all in a video folder and paste. And now I've copied my video files over here to the computer. And now I can go back here in the edit workspace and I can import the media because now it's on my hard drive. Any media that's on your hard drive, any video, any music, 
uh, any still photos, any other audio, whatever you want to include in your project, it's easy enough to get. You're just here in the media room. That's the very first option here in the upper left hand corner. You click on the little folder and select import media files. And now we can browse to those media files that I just imported. There they are. Select them, click open, and they're brought into my project. There they are. There are a number of ways to get media into your project. Uh, you can see not only can you browse to media that's on your computer, you have the option of downloading from the CyberLink Cloud, which is your online backup of your files. Any place in the world you are, if you log into a computer, you can access media that's in your CyberLink Cloud, the Director Zone, Flickr, and you can even purchase music from the audio network. In addition, if you go here to Media Content, and select from this drop down list you see you have color swatches you have background images which you can add to of course with your own media files you have about 50 real nice background music clips that are royalty free and come free with a program you have about a hundred sound effects included with a program so a very nice selection of media. And once it's all on your computer, once it's imported into your project, you can begin the actual process of editing, which we'll look at in our next session here, a basic training with PowerDirector.